Um, all right, so I'm going to go. I had a score. Hmm. Yeah, what's your score? I definitely think it's going to be a high scoring game. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go 27 24. 27 24. I don't know. I don't 27 know. 24 Bengals. Bengals. So you pretty much got the Bengals by three and I got the Rams by three. You want to place back? I got a bottle on it. Bottle. There you go. All right, y'all. <clears throat> we back in the lab, back in the studio. I'm Rob. He's Rick. This is the Captain's Law Podcast YouTube and YouTube show. What's happening? What's up, my man? What's going on, bro? I like that. You that like was, that? You like yeah, the little, you like the switch a little room? groovy. I don't, I don't like, you know what I'm saying? I don't like it. This is my co-host. <laughs> <I don't> like, <laughs> it was good. That's my co-host right Surprise there. Surprise with that. Shim shim. Nigga, shim shim. Yeah, that's my that's my little co-host nigga over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just do what the fuck I said. No, nah, we ain't doing that. We want I, I want shit to be neutral up in here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, in the comments, it says, "Duh, the barber says when the strippers come out." Shit, <laughs> we ain't trying to die tonight. We ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't doing I'm, that. I'm not, but um, thanks, I appreciate it. So okay, all maybe, right, man. maybe maybe you know if you come up here, we'll bring them up. No, the wife ain't going for that shit. But anyway, I man, um, of course, sack. Thank y'all for joining us, man. As always, most please definitely, uh, most definitely. share, share, subscribe, comment, like, tell everybody. Um, topics for the night, man. We'll keep it nitty gritty. We're going to definitely go hit the NFL, AFC, NFC uh, championship football games. Yep. Recap. We're going to do a little bit of uh, we're going to talk to Spotify uh, showdown situation going on. Um, we're going to talk a little COVID cabin fever. We're going to talk some favorite food spots. And we're gonna talk some barbershop culture. Mm. Very important shit for tonight. So sit hey, down. Hey, Unc, this is a good uh, conversation. Is good for you. Yeah, yeah. Unc, chime in. Chime in. Delhi, chill out. Delhi, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I got you, already, my man. Already off. Rip. I got you. Off rip. Already. So, so let's just let's get straight to it, man. Right, AFC game, man. Uh, Chiefs versus Bengals. Bengals took that shit. 27 24. Congratulations to the Cincinnati Bengals. Shout out to my man Aaron Deller. You know what I'm saying? Diehard Bengals fans. I'm fucking with Joe Burr. You know what I'm saying? Came in, you know what I'm saying, with the ice style blicky on. You know what I'm saying? He had, he, he had the Cartier buffs on. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, kind of scared me a little bit in the beginning, bro. I won't even lie to you. Um, definitely scared me, man, because you know, they was down 18 points off Bucks. And, but you know that's how the Chiefs play, man. They, they come out the gate, you know what I'm saying, getting them early points. Kelsey hitting, motherfucking yeah, yeah, Tyree yeah, yeah. hitting, Mahomes with his little Swiss shimmy shit, running circles in the backfield. Uh, was definitely scary, man. But you know what I'm saying? He ain't really show. They wasn't showing that they was afraid. They were just like, all right, let's just go in and have time and regroup. I knew it was going to be some changes uh, made when they tried to score at, right at the half and Tyree Hill got stopped at, at a little couple of yards yeah, short of yeah, the goal yeah. line. Yeah, so my my thing is, well, once again, congratulations to the to the Bengals. Uh, hell of a game, but to me, their defense has been solid all year, right? Mm -hmm. And just like you stated, uh, Kansas City they're gonna try punching them off off rip with scoring points, but they locked him down the second half. They ain't scored nothing. Three they, points. They scored shit the second half, and then they came out and just punched him in the mouth, man. So, um. I think a lot of people counted them out in the beginning of the season. I saw myself counted them out, the Bengals. Um, but that's because they had like the worst record in the NFL two years ago. Two games. Then they came this year and punched them in the mouth. Now there's only two other teams that was that's done that. That's had the worst record in the year, came back two years later and went to the Super Bowl. It was the 49ers in 1981. And it was Carolina Panthers in 2003. So the fact that they did that after going through all the th all the other shit that they went through, uh, hats off to them. I hope they do great, good, uh, good, great things in playoffs. When I play the Super Bowl, um, and they deserved it. So, mm -hmm. so then they go to overtime. You know what I'm saying? 
and Mahomes throws a pick. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, that, bro. That seals the deal right there. Sealed the deal, that's, man. That's a, that's a momentum changer, and that's a heartbreaker right there. But, you know, this, this I mean, listen, I, you know, my hat's off to all the teams that made it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't be wanting to see the same teams, bro. No, nah, I don't. And I, 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 I don't know, I don't know if that's maybe because Washington fucking stinks. And <laughs> we, ain't been, we ain't made shit in about fucking 20-some years. But I just like to see different teams every year. No, no, man. no. I get it. These, these are two fourth seed teams. Yeah. So when fucking Green Bay went out and Tampa Bay went out, I'm like, yes. You know what I'm saying? We are guaranteed. We don't even. We don't know what the fuck we're going to see in the Super yeah, Bowl at this yeah. point. No, you know what I'm saying? No. It's anybody's game in the Super Bowl right now. Absolutely. But um, shout out to that man, and we will see what's happening in the Super Bowl. Now to the NFC game: Rams versus 49ers. Rams take it, mm-hmm. twenty to seventeen. Mm-hmm. Listen, I know y'all 49ers fans. You know, in the closet in the corner, in the dark, curled up with the dirty <laughs> with the dirty sheet on, crying. <laughs> Dirty shit, it's okay though. though. Hey, listen, shout out, shout out to B Miles, shout out to Donnie Flem, shout out to uh Roger Vance, shout out to everybody who's a, a, a 49ers fan. But Jimmy G is not y'all man, bro. Mm. Jimmy G ain't it though. Talk about it. Hey, listen, I I I fucks with Debo, bro. I fuck with Debo. I, I like the way y'all are using him, dog. Like Debo is, is is definitely gonna be the future of y'all team, but the ending, uh First of all, that was a very that was a super super aggressive game. It was a lot of late hits. You know what I'm saying? Helmet to helmet. You you know, uh, Rams had two of their players went out early, but that's good football. It is good. That's football. good football. The game was exciting. He's bro. sacrificing your body for the play. Fuck all that fucking. I'm just saying. Shit. I mean, late hit is a late hit. OB, yeah, late hit late OBJ hit. catching the ball midfield on the corner. And he already down. You come crack him in his yeah, helmet. Yeah, like, come on, that's, bro. Yeah, that's, that's you know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about regular football. But that goddamn Cooper Cup, dog. Hey, hey. Best reside, uh, best wide receiver of the year. Best wide receiver of the year. Best beard worn <laughs> by a Caucasian of the year. <laughs> bro, that that's boy, that boy route running is elite. Yeah, bro. And them Cooper, yards Cooper after the catch demon. are even better, bro. Yeah, hey. Cooper Cup is a demon. He's a Cooper Cup. Was definitely a difference maker of, the, of that game, man. You know what I'm saying? Matt Stafford was taking a lot of hits, bro. But they just were showing up. They were showing a lot of fucking like emotions, a lot of energy. You know what I'm saying? Aaron Donald going off on the sidelines, giving them this. Like I think it, if I, if I had to pick between both the games, the second game was definitely a lot more emotion. Yeah, because I mean they they had to. They're coming off of fucking Super Bowl blowout last season, so. They had they're they're right there on the cusp, right? So they got the target, they acquiring their sights, they pulling the trigger, and they took a shot, target down. Like they had to get them and get them the fuck up out of there quick. Cause they got a lot to prove to show that they're not going to let the Tampa Bay Super Bowl, last year's Super Bowl, happen again. So they they gotta go there. And then, you know, uh OBJ starting a new life over there at the Rams. So no, he doing all right, man. I think I think yeah. he might have found him a home. I am curious to how uh how yep. they going how they gonna get that money together. For all them yeah. players, because I don't think he, I think he signed. I don't know what, how many years or maybe a one year deal or something. So I'm curious to how they're gonna get that together. But that last couple of minutes, bro, like Jimmy, you know what they call him? They call him Jimmy Gag. I could, I could let him. They call me no fucking gag. No, he got to see me that. with the hands, bro. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not doing that. Jimmy, doing Jimmy that. G. I just call him Jimmy G. Out of respect. Do the pick. I'm like, bro. Those, those, like, the, those the game changers, man. I mean, he was, bro. He was way out of the pocket, though. Why he just throw it on the ground? Forcing it, trying to make it wasn't. F- it was. It wasn't fourth down. No, it wasn't. But he forced it. Obviously, bro. You just he just threw, threw that at that shit point. You thinking he bro. threw it away? He threw the game away at that point. Bro, he threw the game away, dog. I just like throw it on the ground, dog. I'd rather you just motherfucking just try just fourth down. I'd rather you just went with a hail mary or something yeah. than you to just throw it to the other team. And it just took a fucking knee, bro. I definitely want to. I definitely want to spend a send a special shout out to OBJ, man. Went over to Debo Samuel's, man. Showed him some love. You know what I'm saying? When the nigga was really fucked up and was yep. really down and out, really yep. showing some emotion. Went over that joint and saluted him. You know what I'm saying? So definitely big shout out to him, man. Big shout um, out. most definitely. But but Jimmy G's gone. They 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 not yeah. fucking with him. They they gonna go with Trey Lance, bro. Thanks, so? Bro, the only reason why Trey Lance ain't playing is because he got he fucking injured his thumb. Yeah, That's yeah, the only yeah. reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga would have been playing. Yeah, out of there, huh? We'll, we'll, see. we'll see. Super Bowl predictions, though, man. Mm. Who, who you got, man? I mean, what you, what you think? I, I, I need to know. So, I need to know who you got, and I need to score. 
All right, so straight to the chase. Rams, 29, Bengals, 26. Straight like that. Straight like that. So you you you, you talking a, you talking a field goal to win the game? Yep. Last that's a, that's a good that's a, based off how they've played all this season, and how they play these last two games. Those are my. They're going to give us a hell of a. They're probably going to give us one of the top Super Bowls. That's I'm calling it right now. It's definitely going to be some touchdowns getting scored. Yeah, I'm calling it right now. Okay, so I'm rolling with the underdogs. Okay, only because you know what I'm saying at this point you know what I'm saying the world wants. You know, the LA to win. You know, every, everything is LA this year. You know what I'm saying? The Rams, I don't think so. the fucking I don't Lakers. Think so. Like everything is everything is really based around California right now. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you want to go to other sports, how you doing, uh, Miss DMV Hazel? Um, what's up, cuz? So I'm going, I'm going with uh I'm going with Joe Burr, though. Yeah, so so this is this is my dilemma, right? I want the Bengals to win though. But I you, want them but, to but win. But you just you just think on. I just, just think it's not gonna happen. I just think that they're gonna get outplayed, just slightly, by the Rams. That's it. I think if I, I think if if they really lock Jamar Chase up, then they may be in trouble. Yeah. But they still got two other receivers, Jefferson yeah. and whoever number eighty five is. Yeah, they do. You know, what I'm but saying? I mean, this is gonna be but an also exciting. also the Rams got injuries, bro. They did. They, they, they number do. one running back is out. They using they the Acres went out, so they running with um uh, Michelle. That's why I said it's a it's a it's gonna be a close game, regardless. Regardless, either way, it could be 20, 29, 26 either way. Regardless of what it's going, it might not even be that many points. Somebody's gonna win by three. Excuse me. Staff are gonna go off though. Staff are gonna Listen, go off. as long Staff as you as long off. as you got if he if if Coop if long as you got Coop Staff are gonna if go Coop off. Cup doing Coop Cups things look that, and OBJ in the on the yeah. bro all he gotta do is hike the ball Coop motherfucking run one yard turn catch that's twenty five yards <laughs> simple as that bro um all right so I'm gonna go I had a score hmm yeah what's your score I definitely think it's gonna be a high scoring game I'm gonna go I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go 27 24. 27 24. I don't know. I don't 27 know. 24 Bengals. Bengals. So you pretty much got the Bengals by three, and I got the Rams by three. You want to place bet? I got a bottle on it. Bottle. There you go. Listen, I don't that locked in. Listen, I'm not a gambling man, <laughs> but I just laid it in. <laughs> All right, so, so let's check the comments real quick. Comment says, uh, before he was close to throwing several picks on the game. Uh Jimmy G, that's from Lauren Hill. Uh then you got Delhi says now OBJ can get his shit. <laughs> can get shit on. <laughs> get, sh- <laughs> get shit on. Uh Wally says more about Stafford <clears throat> and says Stafford has been a game ending drive type of individual his whole career. That is yeah. the truth. He, yeah, that he, is he, a good he, point. He was trying to make shit happen for Detroit his whole fucking career. It just wasn't working. Yeah. All right. So let's move on, man. Tom Brady <clears throat> allegedly retiring. What you think about that? Bye. Fuck out of here. You didn't you didn't serve your purpose. About time. Thanks. Thanks, Tom. It was good while it lasted. Fuck out of here. He's a good player. I just can't stand him. He's like the fucking Justin Bieber of Jesus Christ. Of the NFL. I can't. That is that is one end of the This nigga chose violence. But nah, I'm good. But no. Uh he retired. No, it ain't Brunson. confirmed. It ain't confirmed yet. Well, everything I've seen said it. Well, did. I think that. So I was watching. It was it was back and forth this morning, but this afternoon it was like confirmed. Like people paying him homage now. They have been paying this nigga homage since fucking Friday. Yeah, you true, true. Um, true. so I was but watching Skip and Shannon this morning, and uh, Uncle Shay Shay, shout out to Shay Shop, bring me on the show. <laughs> Um, oh, geez, he said. Man. He said. What he said. He said that he thinks that it is confirmed. He thinks that he is done, but he thinks that somebody keep close to him leaked that shit. Of so, course. So he was like, he was just like in that aspect, he's damage know, control. He's upset because it's like, damn, bro, like he do it on his own terms. He played 20, 20 plus years, and he could have at least came out on his own yeah. and said, "Hey, I'm gone." But yeah, now, Any, like anybody Eric, that would that that would piss anybody off that you're not. You want to go out and do things on your own terms. So, like, if I want to go ahead and tell that, you know, I'm having a baby and you fucking leave, I'm going to be mad as shit because that's not your place to tell somebody. Exactly. Yeah. So, so I, no, I, I, get it. I, get I it. definitely felt them on Fuck that. that um, I, I think I think it's yeah. coming. It's like, bro, like, even if you stayed 
Tampa Bay ain't it, bro. Like, no, you, Tampa Bay is they, not, they it. not it, bro. You lost one of your receivers, wild yeah. ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now you know you got Gronk. Gronk, man, you just that, that team. You, you, Gronk that, just need to stick to doing fucking. He, he need to USA. Stick, he he need to stick to fucking dancing and then parties with no shirt on and shit. Fucking USA commercial. You know what I'm saying? But I seen I, the, I seen the picture with Aaron Rodgers with a Tampa Bay uniform. <laughs> man, he need to go ahead and hang it up. He too, need to go ahead hang it up. Big Ben hang, hang it up. He another he another nigga need to hang it up, man. Just go ahead, Aaron. <laughs> just go ahead and hang it up and just keep it moving. Him you know ain't him ain't his fucking mullet. You can hang it up, hey. but uh, hey, what whatever happens, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be on standby, man. So, uh, Tom, if, if you want to let me know, man, just DM me, pause. Let's move on. <laughs> so, um, I thought this, this Spotify uh showdown, man, I thought this was great, I thought this was a good topic because it actually pertains to us as podcasters. So, who those who don't know, man, you got Joe Rogan and you got Neil Young. Who the fuck is Neil Young? Neil Young is this old white guy who was a Canadian American singer. He was he was the man in the '60s. He was vicious. Yeah, he, was. On, he was vicious on the guitar. Neil Young is a certified goat. He he was vicious on the guitar back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Had the motherfucking the Prince shoulder blades and all that shit. And uh, he went to Spotify because allegedly Joe Rogan experienced is allegedly or confirmed they putting out false information about COVID nineteen. So then all of a sudden he started pulling his music. He started pulling his shit off of Spotify and other big name folks start pulling their shit off of Spotify. Joe Rogan is not going nowhere, bro. No, I'm just, no. just going to put it this way. Joe He's Rogan, not. Joe Rogan is the hottest thing since podcast was created. He's one, he's one of the few people who go out here who literally don't, don't have a niche, who don't have a category. He yep. sits on there. He says whatever the fuck he wants. Yep. He has whoever he wants on there, and um, he jolly like undefeated. He he he. I, I kind of look at him on on the on the uh, Mount Rushmore fucking podcasters. I agree with you. And he does his thing. So the significant thing about this is like, so I'm in podcast groups on Facebook. That's how I keep keep my, my keep my ear to the streets. And <laughs> it was people in there like saying, "Hey, uh, how do I how do what do I go to?" If I want to remove my podcast from Spotify, listen, sit your stupid asses down. <laughs> First and foremost, you, you, you're talking about you're talking about somebody who gets, you know, a couple of fucking hundred thousand downloads per fucking episode. And mind he has, you, and mind he has like you, over five hundred episodes. Mind you, he just got a hundred million dollar deal just with got Spotify, a, so it, he's it, not going anywhere. Fucking Neil Young gave them an ultimatum. He said either me or Joe Rogan, and they picked Joe Rogan. Sorry, Neil Young, you got to go. Yeah, yeah, and then like other people want to take it, yeah. but I'm like, bro, like, listen, there's only a handful of people out here that's podcasting that's really, really getting these numbers. That top one percent, you know what top one percent is? Top one percent is that means that you're getting a thousand, a thousand downloads per episode. That's top one percent. That's considered top one percent. Hmm. Now, just imagine you got that, and you got two hundred episodes. So you got 200 episodes, and out of those 200, the majority, let's just say 60, 70 percent of those, you're getting a thousand downloads yeah, per. Yeah, yeah. No, that's sort of the point where that's when you actually making some little cheese out of this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And fucking Lou Loke over Lou Loke and Muk Muk over here, <laughs> who <laughs> ain't been podcasting fucking six months, want to you want to take your shit off of a platform, bro? You need to put your shit as many places as you can put it. If you want to be somebody, but that you know comes down to people. To me, to me, that whole situation, it comes down to you not minding your business. That's, I mean, that don't get me wrong. Like I, like I understand what Neil Young was trying to do. Like f f to provide more context, right? He had two individuals on there that are scientists that are, well, you know, all renowned in this in this world. One of them's of, um, who the hell is it? You got Dr. Robert Malone. He's an infectious disease specialist. And then you have Dr. Peter McCullough, who's a cardiologist. And they they are known to say some controversial shit when it comes to COVID-19. So he had them on their show and they spoke that piece. That doesn't necessarily mean that Joe Rogan agreed with them because he came out and said that he didn't. But um, it just goes to show you, you have to be, I'm not going to say you have to be selective, but you have to be able to deal with whatever comes back or blowback that you might get from whoever you have, may have on your show or what you might say. 
So uh, they were putting out uh, misinformation on COVID-19. It was uh, earlier that month, it was like 200 scientists and healthcare professionals that put out, that signed an open letter saying how the, uh, how Spotify has people that's putting out misinformation about COVID-19. They don't agree with it, so on and so forth. But the fix for that was damage control, right? Joe Rogan came out, did all his apologies. Oh, I was a big fan of Neil Young. I was a security guard at, at a Neil Young concert, but I left because they was fighting too much and I wasn't getting paid enough. But I did play a Neil Young song on the way home. That's damage control. It's public relations, right? Yeah. They just paid him $100,000, $100 million, and they're not paying Neil Young shit. Spotify really doesn't make that much money. A lot of people don't know because after they pay the record labels and the artists, they're pretty much breaking even. So that's why they expanded to the audiobooks, the podcasts, and so on and so forth. So they're going to go with their best option, who they got money interested in. And it's not just Joe Rogan. They got money into the Obamas and a whole bunch of other people that a lot of people don't understand. But you, somebody that's that you can't do to make something. I understand if you want to go for a cause, right? But you have to affect that cause. Somebody in the Facebook group that has it, that's been doing a podcast for six months, is not going to affect the situation and fucking what you call it. There's no nobody knows who the fuck you are. No, it's I, not. I, I wanted Neil, I wanted Neil to... Young was because what happened yeah. was immediately after he did that, they came out with a whole like fucking. COVID-19 hub on their website now. So it's there now. So, so they made that adjustment. So quick. they made the adjustment quick. So whatever Neil Young was trying to do and these other people, excuse me, it worked. So that's, but everybody else, mind your fucking business. That don't pertain to you. And that's what I wanted to say. I, I wanted to, so I didn't want to get kicked out of the group. So I was just like, I was like, God, yeah, it's so yeah, hard yeah, not to comment. Yeah, but I wanted because, to go, I wanted to be like, well, who the fuck are you to say I'm going to take my shit off? Who are you? Did you look him up? No, because he's a fucking him. nobody. You should have looked him up. See him. The nobody with a fucking long ass last name. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's a fucking. You should have looked him up because people don't know. Like people get their shit down, taking every every Man, fucking it, chance they get. It was like Joe Rogan. Joe names. Rogan had like 40 episodes removed off a of podcast. Yeah, I mean, removed off of Spotify, but none of them were related to COVID. So whatever. Man, look, y'all, y'all be doing fucking anything out here when it <laughs> comes to this COVID shit, bro. I get it, bro. Like, I mean, I'm, I, I be, I be questioning that shit too. Like, nigga, you couldn't find the fucking COVID test nowhere. Now they sending free shit to your house. I mean, I get it, dog. I get so it. So, hold on, time out. They sending free shit to your house. Did you get an email notification from the, the post office? I don't know, nigga. I get a lot of emails. I got a, I got a. So, I got an email. Uh, I'll tell you. So, I don't know. I got a weird fucking post office. Notification saying something being sent to my house. I don't know if it's a COVID test or whatever. But once I get it, I'll come back and show and let y'all know what it is. But it is COVID I think, related. I think it's your COVID test because I, I did I did get something. So I, I'll let you know. It may be an official document, but I already got documents. But whatever. Out. All right. So since we're talking about COVID, man, I definitely wanna I definitely wanna move on to to the more some more serious matter, man. Uh, which I think is definitely real, and maybe some of us who go to work every day don't realize it, but. COVID cabin cabin fever. Cabin fever. I only bring this up, man, because somebody that I know I've known for a good bit. I, I won't, you know, give out any information. Um, he's suffering from this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, I know I've been on here several times and I've said, fuck, man, I'm tired of being in the house. I'm tired of this, I'm tired of that. My family, oh, I love them, but they're getting on my goddamn nerves. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, I I nigga, I didn't went and sat out in the fucking cold, 20 degrees, just to smoke a cigar, just to feel like I was out. Do you think about them people like who don't have a social life? Yeah, like zero. Like you don't know fuck. You don't know no motherfucking body. All you know is the niggas you work with. Yeah, and they say, well, you gonna be teleworking for the next two fucking years, bro. And that effect. So the person I know, man, you know, uh, had, you know, was having real bad panic attacks, man. It was just like, you know, he wake up in the morning, bro, and just lay, was just lay there and like look at the fucking wall. For hours, and they'd be yeah. like, "Oh, I guess it's time to go to work." So I I know people um, that has suffered from either depression or anxiety. I think we all. I think we um, all are, bro. When Honestly. it comes to COVID nineteen, it's a if it's it's a lifestyle change that a lot of people weren't really for. 
Fuck right. no. Everybody, I don't, and, I, and a lot of people work home. We can be for home. Yeah. It sounds good, right? It sounds good. In the it sounds good in the beginning, but the like I always preach, there's always second and third order of effects to everything, right? So we were talking about this shit uh, last week or two weeks ago. You're at home normally, right? Some shit happened at work. You can fucking take that ride home to like get that, you know, release that shit, let that yep. shit go, leave it at work. But now you're fucking turning from the fucking computer to the kitchen and all that bullshit that happened at work is now transferring in the house. That is a big thing for me in my, in my household. We do not bring work shit to the house because that fucks up the entire vibe for the house. And I refuse to do that. Um, but that's just one of the examples that you have to deal with working on the telework environment. You got some people that go in once a week, twice a week, so they get out a little bit. But even still, you're going in there working on eggshells because you got COVID cases every fucking couple of weeks. Yeah. So it, it, it's a thing, man. So one thing that I, you know, I stress um, for everybody, like I'm, I'm, I'm a big proprietor for uh, seeking counseling and stuff like that. So when if it's anybody that you need to talk to, uh, who you know, whether you call a fucking psychiatrist or you call a friend, just have some daily interaction with somebody, whether it's even the phone. We got all these smartphones, FaceTime. It's it's not what you want, but it's a little bit different than actually holding the phone to your ear or not seeing somebody's face or emotions and stuff like that. So just go ahead and make sure you reach out to your resources. Hey, fuck it. If you need somebody to talk to, just hit me. I don't, I don't care. Absolutely. So my suggestions, you know what I'm saying, for this individual, I say, listen, man, um, at this point, bro, like you got to go out of your way to get out the house. Yeah, you know what I do. So when I when I work, I, I had a hard week last week, man. And I was like, you know what? What we need from Costco? You know what I'm saying? What we need? Oh, or, or do I? My, oh, my son need a new bed. Let me go out here and see where I can find. But anything that's gonna get me out of the house for at least an hour or two, I'm doing it. Yeah. Or like, do do you have a local YMCA? You know what I'm saying in your neighborhood, or or just a boys and girls club or something like, bro. You need you you have to you have to like I get it, bro. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I've worked, I had the fucking worst schedule ever, dog. I, I've worked weekends as long as I've been working from yeah. Jerry's Pete Jerry Subs and Peace and Burtonsville to the fucking United States Marine Corps. I fucking work weekends, dog. Weekends. Hey, and, real quick, if while we're discussing this topic, if y'all want to chime in about your COVID cabin fever experiences, please share in the comments and we'll talk about please. it. Please go ahead. My bad, I didn't mean to cut you. No, you're good, but like, bro, you have to make you gotta you gotta pick up a hobby, man. Listen, I know the easiest thing we can do is we can pick up that motherfucking food, we can pick up that liquor, we can pick up that weed or whatever other shit, or we can just pick up the remote. But you have to make a conscious effort, dog, to like stay mobile when you can. Like, yeah. if you got a fucking tr if you got a, a home gym in your house, dust that shit off and get the fuck on there and do what you need to do. If you got a trail in your neighborhood. Motherfucker, put your goddamn yellow reflective vest on and walk or run. Get you a fucking bike. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I play PlayStation every day. It's it's not the answer. It just gets me through the work day. But when I'm once I'm done, like I need to make a move. It'd be fucking Wednesday. I'm like, well, who we ain't seen in a minute? We need to pull up on somebody. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. give a fuck if I'm going to another person's house. I ain't in my house. You know what I'm saying? So um definitely, man. Y'all need to definitely make that conscious effort because I know it's a lot of people out here. Fucking suffering in silence, dog. And I just want to let y'all know I've I've been there. I'm still there. I'm with y'all. We're in it together, bro. Like, if you need to chop it up, man, like hit, hit me. Hit me on the hip, man. Hit me on the DM. If you got my number, hit me on the phone and we can come up with some shit together. Yeah, yeah. Please do, please do, please do. So nobody should suffer in silence, right? So um at the end of the day, bro. I always say like when I'm cooking or when I'm teaching a you know a gun class, I always tell people. Once I deal with you once, or I've had one interaction with you once, we're family after that, right? So I, I hold that true to my heart, and it does take a village to do anything, whether that's raise a child, be successful, whatever. So please, uh, by all means, if you have any issues or whatever, please make sure that you reach out to someone to talk about and just get that shit off your chest, get it off your shoulders, release that weight, you know, take a day for yourself is, you know, best on based on you know what your you know restrictions allow yeah. you to do with covid and you know these states and stuff like that because every state has different mandates like right now you know in dc you got to have your vaccination card to go anywhere in dc right now to do anything so just make sure you got all your ducks in a row man and just you know take time for yourself and just focus if you tell a working too man look don't be listen this is one thing i still haven't done don't be afraid to pack that motherfucking laptop take that little trip go to another state go to a beach 
and keep that motherfucking laptop on it. Had had a mobile, had your phone as a mobile hotspot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do your thing, get off work, throw that shit in the bag, have your motherfucking cocktail, man, and, and be in some warm weather. Yep. Uh, let's check the comments. Uh, Lauren Hill says it was hard to be locked away in my room trying to teach kids that weren't interested or didn't care. Mm. Hey, that's that's real. That's real hey, spit sh- right there. Shout out to all teachers. Shout out to the teachers. Shout out to Cause... shout out to every teacher I know personally and the ones I don't know. Shout yeah, out to y'all. Listen, to... I know, I know, I know, I know we be getting on y'all ass a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But I still, I still have y'all are definitely my fucking un- unsung heroes out here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I go through a fucking yeah, and, and they don't want to pay y'all no fucking brand. She also says I would take multiple walks around the neighborhood a day. Yeah, man, look, you put them good on you, good on you, Lauren Hill. You put them fucking headphones on. Great name, by the way. You go up and you yeah, and you go up. That's my that's my fo- that's my people's right there. That's, that's my folk folks. That's my can folks. She sing like Lauren Hill. I don't know if she can sing, but okay. but she but I tell you what, she talks she, she talks some basketball to you though. Ooh, and, really? And she, and she got a little J too. Mm. But um, damn, man, you fuck me up. What was I? <laughs> You fucked me up. Uh, uh, she was talking about walking around the neighborhood. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You put your headphones on. You go ahead and you look up. You know what I'm saying? CLP on- podcast. And you just, you just <laughs> listen to us. And we, just, and we just bring you back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I know we was talking about food, though, bro. So we were going to yeah, transition the next time. We were talking about food. So, All right. So is she? I hope she better be in here. Kim better be in here. Uh-oh. Wings or flats? Drums or flats? Drums or flats. I'm sorry. What did I say? Wings or flats? Yeah, drums or flats. If I had to pick one. If you had to pick one, wings or flats. I'm picking uh, drums. All right, thank you. Because I was about to. It, it, I was it, probably it, about to knock your ass it, listen, out. If you it, it, it's for flats. one reason. It's for one reason only. Because I'm fat and it's more meat. Pause. Hey, so many people were r- literally arguing with me about flats are better. Flats are juicier. But no, they're not. They are. They are. No, they are. they're not. They are. Hey, that that little that little that little shoulder blade on the on the uh, drum that should but, be a little dry. But sometimes. the leg is dark meat. The dark meat. The wing. The wing, depending on the size of the wing, can get dry as fuck. Like no, who? So fuck? listen. So oh, I got a question. Drumettes. Thanks, Kim. I appreciate it. Thank you. I got. I got. Thank you. You're on my team now. I got a question for you. I got a question for you. Fuck All right. That. So you got drums, a whole wing. Either way, chicken over chicken. You got a whole wing section. Right, you pull that motherfucker apart. What am I eating first? What's the what's the best part? The fucking drum. No, it's not. No, it's what? not. No, you it's crushed. not. No, what it's you not. gonna say? The wing no. tip. When you got a wing at, when you got wing at, I'm going for the drum first because I know. That but if you I'm, got a whole wing, you, you got a whole carry yard, You going for the wing tip, bro? The flat is juicier, bro. No, that's because y'all that be getting flavor. these fucked up ass chicken. That flavor. That you that had my chicken. You was fucking them drums up. Both sides. Like I was fucking <laughs> all the chicken up. Fuck you talking about, bro? That drums mother- are better, bro. That seasoning get up and get get up in them little two little bones right up in there. No, get, so get up in I have section. people trying to tell me, oh, it's easy. Just take your wing, peel the bone apart, and then you got two. No, I'm not doing all that. Bro, I got one to- bone. I got one chicken bone, a drum, and I'm eating ha- two bites. I'm it's two bites. You, 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 you fall, it's up. two bites. Any more than two, you just kind of cleaning up. This motherfucker so sticking like, their really tongue great. in between the wing bone and shit, doing dumb shit, looking retarded. <laughs> The fuck? Eat a goddamn drum. Okay. Fucking wing at shit. No, drum. But so you, so you favorite spots. Favorite spots. Okay. Favorite spots. So if I had to say a favorite spot for chicken wings, right? I'm gonna say Johnny and District Heights. I mean with I'm, my mumbo sauce though. So we talk go. we talk carry out. Or we or we're just wings. going all over the map. So right now we're just talking carry out right now. If I'm going carry out, I'm going Eddie Leonard's Marlboro Pike. Mainly because I lived right there, but the wings was undefeated, and it and it was always drama in the waiting area. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Uh, wifey would tell you to jump off at Benton Road, Benton Road, Good Hope Road. I had to, I had to Benton Road. I, that, I've, they, I've, that they're they're pretty good, but I'm used to. I, I either do Johnny's, but my favorite right now, I have their number stored in my phone is China Restaurant over in Landover. Okay, okay. All right, what's next? Uh, so if you had to pick a favorite Mexican spot, where you going? Uh, in, the, in the area. See, I'm not really on the Mexican shit like that. My wife is. We went to this. Little... All right, so Sardis or Sylvester's? I never had some uh, Sylvester's. I'm not even. A, I'm not what? even. I'm not even a pollo man like that, bro. What Peruvian shit? You crazy? You I mean, I'm not saying it's not good. 
I just don't. That's I just don't be jumping for joy on that shit. Like, kid, what you know about Lucky Star? Lucky Star Lucky is Star do, class, Lucky Star do be busting. <laughs> and Lenny, hey, Lenny's do be busting. The, the star do be busting a little bit. <laughs> um, so what? What about a steak and cheese though? A steak and cheese, not the fucking carry out, not a carry out steak and cheese. Damn, it really ain't nowhere else. To no, get it's from. not because I always get my steak and cheese from the carry out, unless Bruh. I'm in Philly. America, I'm on South America's best. Bullshit, bus, fuck dog. dog. I'm, I'm telling no, you, listen, no. I went in that joint, double protein. The joint was seasoned. Kim, up. I forgot the you joint was seasoned over. up to perfection, though. It was seasoned. It was seasoned real good, right there on four fifty, dog. The joint was busting. And if I and if I couldn't go anywhere else, oh, I, would, I would go to Jersey. Mike's. I'm not tr- Jersey Mike. I'm yeah, not, I said no. if I couldn't go anywhere else, no Jersey Mike's gonna put a lot. It's gonna be a lot of motherfucking. Kim, you though. you how many times have you been to China restaurant by the old Circus City? I'm gonna wait for that, but no, I'm going to the carry off for steak and cheese, bro. I'm not going to know America's best no Jersey listen, Mike. I'm, listen, I'm going to treat you. I'm going to treat you one day. No, I'm going to get you some gourmet. You gonna fries, get me some gourmet? Fries seasoned up, half and half. Three ice cubes. Three ice cubes. I'm gonna hook you up. I'm telling you, the joint was busting, bro. You all right, all right, all right. Never been to that. So, one? We, so we, 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 where would you go for a hoagie, though? Where would you go for a hoagie? A cold, hoagie? cold cut. A cold cut. I got a joint for you. Go ahead, you go. Because I don't really. Do I don't know if it's still open, but it's a joint on Rhode Island Avenue, and they that motherfucking sandwich like this big, bro. <laughs> That motherfucking sandwich is a work of goddamn art. You understand me? And it's cheap. I forgot the fucking name. They only take cash. And they got the old school motherfucking corn chips in there. So I, I got a place. It's called. Oh, I'm going to Jersey Mike's. It's called, for a good hoagie, it's called. Fuck. Mm, mm, mm. And I keep wanting to see mom uh but pub and pops. It's off a of M it's off of M Street next to the Camelot. It's a fucking uh deli shop. I worked there as an intern um when I was in culinary school. The white people, yes. That's- oh, from a hey, listen, uh, look. but but it's a dude from Philly. No, 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 it's no, a dude no. from hold on. Let me I, a, no, I just want to tell you real quick when it comes to them motherfucking hoagies. <laughs> When it, listen, listen, you, you, y'all hear me right now? When it comes to them cold cuts, the motherfucking white people undefeated, bro. So, so undefeated. Bub and Pops was they made everything from scratch. So I worked as an intern while I was in culinary school. The first thing that I did was made fifty pounds of fresh potato chips every day, and that's straight from the potato into the fryer into a bag. It's like them hers, you know, you know, salty as fuck. Nah, but he, I mean, he had equal salt, equal pepper. He showed me how to do everything. It was good. That dude taught me a lot of things. Uh, Mr. Top, Chef you gonna Top. Make, you gonna make some chips? I gotta make some chips. You gonna make some chips. Nigga, they got I fucking wrap snacks out here. Why not? Nigga, shoot yeah. your shot. Shit. <laughs> the wrap snacks. I make some, some Lovey's mumbo sauce chips. Oh, bullshit. But uh, they got they rib had, chips, nigga. Shit. Why they not? Had, they had, they, he had the best sandwich I've ever had. It was a brisket. Sub sandwich with a horseradish apple mayonnaise. That shit was the best thing ever. That shit was good. Yeah, I found my name up because I don't do real horseradish like that, but horseradish is a lot of food. Horseradish, horseradish go off. That shit just burn my fucking nose. But that brisket sandwich with that horseradish mayo. Okay, 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 okay. So, so yeah. barbecue. Where you like your barbecue from? Uh, there's no real good. So if <laughs> fuck with the barbecue, bro. So if I get if I'm getting barbecue, is it just ribs or just barbecue? Period. If it's just ribs, I'm sorry. I'm going to fucking uh, fuck. What's the joke down the street? The fucking Texas. strip club. No, the strip club. What's the strip, the club, strip club? club. It's the strip club down the fucking street. What's the name of the fucking stripper? I can't remember. Yeah, ribs or the strip? It's off of Sheriff Road. Yes, I'm telling you. Hold on. I'm sorry. I got to interrupt. What the fuck are you talking about? Hold on. Uh, so my thing is this, because I know a lot of people be torn on between seafood and barbecue. Which one would you pick? Would you pick seafood or barbecue? Barbecue. I would pick barbecue any day of the fuck. I don't know, because maybe I'm just on that motherfucking pork pause. But uh, just a good fucking rib. Ebony Inn. Ebony Inn. Off Sheriff Road has better ribs than fucking Mission Barbecue, 
I shouldn't. Wish your mom's video weren't hitting like that. Uh, who else was the barbecue don't, chain? Don't say fucking famous day. That shit was trash. Honestly, bro, you know who had a better barbecue chain? Don't say Fridays. Nope. Red hot and blue. What the fuck is that? Yeah, so Red Hot Blue. So Red Hot Blue was a barbecue restaurant. The only one that I knew of was in Wardorf, but they're everywhere. But the one that I went to was in Wardorf. And, and it's one in Virginia by Fort Belvoir. Fork tender ribs, good barbecue sauce. I got the same shit every time. I got a full rack, a Caesar salad, and baked beans. Best barbecue ever. Mm. But when it comes to barbecue, I prefer to make my own. So I don't, I but if I had to go to a spot, I'm going to Ebony and to go get ribs. Kim, Kimberly Harris says she chooses seafood. And, seafood and, over and, over and laurel. What the fuck seafood they got? Unless you're going to mid Atlantic. No, you gotta go to Shoreline to get fucking best seafood. Bro, like best I, best seafood in this area. You either going to Shoreline or you going to the Wharf. Other than that, you're not getting good seafood. Wharf ain't even. I don't know, bro. Maybe because I'm just not like I've never been that crab nigga. Like, I but need, not not necessarily. I need, crab, a, I need though. a bushel mail. 37 pounds. Like, I don't know that. I don't know that, bro. But it's not. But the thing about it is, it's like me. I go to the wharf not for crabs, though. I would go for the wharf for fish and shrimp and seafood other than crabs. Niggas go to the wharf for crabs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Niggas go to the wharf for crabs. Nigga, I, go, I, go. I will go to fucking giant. I'm getting you, some, you I'm getting some fucking sea bass. I'm getting red snapper. I'm getting that shit from. The fucking wharf. Well, let me let me know when it comes to some cheese. Fuck when it comes up. to uh, Shoreline, Shoreline got some of the best catfish fucking Where's fillets. Shoreline, that you it's in of? Crofton, off of Route Three. Oh, the joint in the middle. In the, in the middle. Yeah. Hey, honestly, bro, for what I've had, so I will say this. For and the they cream of crab soup, bomb as shit. Crofton, y'all like y'all like undefeated on the seafood. Crofton, Crofton hit. Yeah, I, they, I, they I did. I did go to this seafood. little uh, uh, seafood spot out in Annapolis, but that shit was overrated. Though I'm not choosing. Listen, I mean, if you're talking on the health tip, it don't matter. I'm still, I'm still choosing barbecue, bro. Like you have. To, I mean, you have. I think you have just. There's nothing many, better than some smoked wings, a brisket. I just feel like you have so many butt. options, bro. You it's got a lot so of love, blood, sweat, and that tears. Shit take longer. It goes into you throw them motherfucking barbecue. shrimp in the pot, flip them bitches over twice. They done or they overcooked. I've done a brisket that took me fucking eighteen hours. And that shit. Was and I'm slinging wood. That shit paws. probably motherfucking. And just. that shit was the best thing fucking ever. Uh, in there, don't worry. Soon as this fucking cold go away, I'm firing the grill back up every week. Send me the send me the cash out. Got you. You got any other favorites you want you want to throw in? Um, so if you had to pick a wine and dine spot for you and the wife to go to, where you go? <sighs> <laughs> I hate you even asking me this, bro. Why? There's so many fucking places to go, bro. All right, give me bro, three. Let me tell you give something. me three. I, I don't have three, bro. I get I get how many do you I have? get 32 TikToks a day. On restaurants, because but I'm got, talking about a place that you've been to though that you've actually enjoyed and you've been there more than once. Um, so if if I have to go to a place that's more so tailored to the wife, but I'm gonna get me a decent drink, we used to go to Alero mm, or okay. L'Oreal Plaza, okay, or they got this little spot called a uh, Nada and Bethesda, pretty some Ari right tacos, little small plate. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm simple, dog. They can take me to Outback, give me the ribs. I feel like I feel like Outback's ribs are consistent. They're not the best, but them shits be seasoned up real good. <laughs> so why did that spot you go to Outback? That's what you, that's what you pick. If, if we on a budget, if if if, if you're if, not on a budget, if, if we on the off week, we going to Outback. If we on the on week, we are gonna pick somewhere and try. We just gonna pick somewhere. Just pick somewhere. And try. We we gonna pick. I mean, but let me tell you, my wife would love it if I just said. Boo, get, get go ahead and go ahead and get tight real quick. We're gonna we just gonna go somewhere. We're gonna drive a fucking hour Might to some restaurant that. we ain't been to. And me, me and wifey did that for we had our own version of diner drivers and dives for a very and long hopefully time. it's good as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Then we have a we have we a couple memories little, that way. We have a yeah, we have a couple little sippy cups, take some pictures, come back home and you know, and get some sheet action. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> She gonna fuck me up. She gonna fuck you up for that one. I'm just gonna stand by. All right, all right, all right, man. So let's move on, man. Go ahead. All right. So my question for you: Do you think, and for all the barbers that are out there, hopefully that you're in, you're watching this. Shout out to Groom Theory. Has the barbershop culture changed due to COVID? 
What what do you consider what what's what's considered the culture? The now? culture. Niggas going in that joint, sitting in there for hours, talking shit about in there, talking barbershop? bullshit like a standard barbershop. You go in that joint, you got your laugh, you got your drunk, you got your rhinos, you got your crackheads, you got a nigga that's selling socks, you get anything out of there, the best movie DVDs, or you just go in there just to have a conversation, even though you're not even getting your hair cut. Uh well so all right so I'm 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 just gonna speak on you know what I mean my barber situation now I'm gonna go right. just give you a little history so right. back when I was just going to a traditional barber shop it was all of that shit in there it was you know niggas selling shit and uh, all that other you know selling this selling that you know what I mean shit was packed niggas was in there wasn't getting haircuts bullshitting yep. the, the, the one nigga wasn't cutting nobody hair but he just worked in there somehow <laughs> he still had a fucking job yeah all of that but um then when I when I went to my man shout out to John. And shout out to Dern, you know what I'm saying? They was cutting up the street for 50. And uh, it was a traditional barbershop, but them niggas always had to dress up. I'm like, why the fuck y'all niggas always in here with motherfucking collar shirts and diesels on? You know what I'm saying? Shit they was dressed weird. up like that? that? That was like the owner. Like type. the uniform that was like, type shit? I mean, they wanted them niggas looking classy, but I'm like, still, it's a barbershop. Like, we come in here to, this is. I mean, but know, the old school barbershop dressed like that, though. Old school barbershop, niggas wear whatever the fuck they want. You know what I'm saying? But um, before that, Nigga, I used to go. I used to go to this wild ass barbershop. I used to go to this barbershop off motherfucking Branch Ave, right there where uh, when you cross motherfucking uh, Iverson, Iverson Mall on the left, the uh, motherfucking Seven Eleven on the right. right, and the Wendy's. It was behind uh, the Wendy's. Oh, let me, <laughs> bro, let me tell you something. The nigga used to cut my hair. Old, old, old head nigga, man. That nigga, man. He look. That nigga was cutting the hair. He had the motherfucking white work, giving the cheeks up in the back. He was like. He's like, man, you don't need you, you, you good. I was like, no, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm, I just want to get cut, get the fuck up out of here for this bitch get raided. So I stopped going to him because I don't know if he was on something or something, bro. But like the nigga, every time I came, he was like, you sure you don't owe me from the last cut? And I just look at the nigga like, bro, I ain't never got no free cut. Like, well, why, why the fuck would I schedule an appointment to come in and ask you for <laughs> cash do something for free? So it got to the point where he could he kept mixing me up with somebody else, so I stopped fucking with him. Mm. So then I went back to my current barber now, and at this point they was in a suite, and this is when the the salon plazas and oh, shit yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. that, that whole started, move took over started to be a thing. So now they just in a suite, and it's just them two. Right. And before COVID, you know they would have every seat. You know, three, four well, seats. Well, be I feel like there. people got more freedom now with with the little sweet job. But you I think, I, I, but I think, really, at the end of the day, you booth know, what I'm saying you you still getting hit on on the booth rent. Yeah, the booth rent more expensive because it's, it's you and one other. But person. it's your shit though. Yeah, it's your shit. But the difference I would say from COVID is now, of course, you know, you know, you got to have your mask on. But yeah. now it's like because the booths are so small, like uh, you if you come in. Or you know, when it's time, you pretty much wait in your car until it's time to come in. It's mm. not like. You sitting I mean, there chilling, and hang out. It's not, yeah, it's not like me and my son getting the cut, but I got my daughter with me and my wife, so they coming in together. Like, no, they're gonna sit in the car. Yeah. We gonna come in, and I'm gonna take my mask off just to get my hair cut as soon as I'm done. It's coming up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then you know, I try not to even do no heavy breathing. If he's shaping me up, I try to hold my breath. If he shaped my mustache <laughs> up or something, you know what I mean? But um, I definitely think they're taking a hit though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think they are too. I, I, well. Me, I can't speak from experience, but I haven't been to the barbershop in a long time. But when I was going prior to COVID, yeah, like it was probably like one of the my what I look forward to every fucking week was going into the barbershop. But I'm you getting a haircut every week. Yeah, bro. I was either getting a haircut or a shape up. I alternated. Bro, I think that I think that's the worst thing you can do, bro. Like I know, like as a I had a barber who was honest with me. Mm. Now I know as a nigga who, who really needs some money, they're like, Yeah, coming every week, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do 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 do. But you're actually making that shit worse, dog, because you don't give your shit a chance to. Yeah, you may look like like my haircut is maybe fucking three or four days old. Shit looking John Christopher. I know, you know what I'm saying? High and tight. <laughs> but after a week, the shit may not be looking that good. And after two weeks, I'm looking crazy. You have to let it get to looking crazy. For you to get it back, because if you just keep going in between where your shit don't even really need to be cut, you know what I'm saying? You're just pushing it back, pushing it back, pushing it back, and next well, thing you well, know, you're getting a fucking that, baldy. But the thing about it is, what I didn't get shape ups every time I went though. Well, what's the point of going? Because my I had my hair grew fast, so I was still my shape up was still last because I got a straight razor, so it was still last for a week. So I get a haircut in between. So I'll get a shape up one week, and then the next week I'll just get a cut, no shape up. 
and then I get a shape up next. So that's how I alternate it. So I wouldn't push my shit back. But genetics forced me to have this fucking bald head. So I'm on the way. My shit looking jazz. Yeah, my shit. I, 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 I remember my shit used to be real. I used to have that, motherf- I used to have that motherfucking Paul it. George, boy. Now I'm looking Come like, on goddamn. with it. Don't worry. I'll welcome you with open arms. Don't worry. It's coming. I, I said I was getting the baldy before I turned fucking 40, but that just means I'll never, my fucking beard will be down to my fucking navel. Yep. It's okay. Still have a bald head. But um, man, um, best of luck to these barbers out here. I know, I know, yeah, yeah, I know, I know they definitely suffering, man. You know, with shit going crazy, like motherfuckers is like with shit. You know, they got they putting all the shit on Amazon. You can learn how to cut your own fucking hair. Yeah, I won't even lie to you, bro. Once, once I, once I go the route to get the fucking body, like I don't really know what my fate holds. I honestly, you're I'm never just, going to the barber shop. You're if you do go to the barber shop, you're going for once a month, but you're going for some, some exquisite shit. I go to the barbershop for some exquisite shit. Honestly. Like, I'm getting my head shaved. Yeah. I'm getting, like, this hydrotherapy shit done. I'm getting blackheads removed. I'm getting a face mask on. Like, I'm doing the whole shit once a month. Honestly, bro, I'm just waiting until until my son is old enough to go by himself and then go his own way. Because, you know, I told him when he gets started, I say you can get your head cut any way you want. As long as it's not looking crazy, keep it done. Hmm. But he, you know, he tried to grow it out before he we wasn't taking care of it. They cut it, shit was patchy. I was like, cut it on. But I know this what about day and age, a barber comes to the house, huh? What about a barber comes to the house? My barber was coming to the house, you know what I'm saying? And even though he wasn't charging me more, I was still compensating him because he was going all over the place. This is when, like, this is when COVID, like, first COVID really first started yeah. and the shop was closed. And I said, I said, look, bro, I know you, I know you, you know, I know you need some bread cuts. I was like, look, I'm, I'm going to set the shit up in the garage. We, you know, keep the door open. It was summertime. I said it might be hot, but you come at night. He, he did that shit on the fucking deck. He did it in the garage, did it in the deck. Mm. And I said, bro, you know, you my man. My barber been cutting my hair since shit. Fuck, two, one or two years before I got He been cutting my hair since motherfucker 2014, bro. Yeah, and I had, uh, I had a barber like, that. like, you definitely, man, a, a barber is like that nigga family. You know what I'm saying? He yeah, or yeah. she. They family. They know you. They know when your shit fucking up. Yep. They, they going if they if they your folks they'll keep it a hundred with you. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of waiting for my barber to say, bro, just get the body. But his shit look like mine though. So he he's he's still trying to hold he's on too. So yeah, he's, he's like shit. He's like, bro, just don't ever come in this motherfucker with a beard. I, I just, I just don't shit. Nigga, you see my fucking beard, nigga. I would never do that shit, bro. Never. You know, you know, niggas getting lace fronts now. Nigga, I ain't lacing shit. Like right, you talking about? Enough. I don't even right. want to sure. Just make it sure. I only want to lace my goddamn shoes. Just make it. Yeah, Crocs. Next slide. <laughs> All right, man. So we're gonna close out, man. But I know you gotta do your fucking thing. All right. So I got uh inspirational quote, and then I have my dad jokes. So inspirational quote uh is accept no one's definition of your life, define it yourself. I think that was a good one. Now, what you all been waiting for, look, he laughing already. What you all been waiting for is my epic dad jokes. I got two for you. Look, he can't even, he can't even look at me. All right, first one. What kind of hair do they sell at IHOP? (laughs) Kind of hair they sell it. I, have. I don't know, though. Egg snitches. <laughs> <laughs> told you I was gonna get his ass. <laughs> oh, told you I was gonna get his ass. Hey, that shit was funny. I got one more. I got one more. I got one more. But you're only gonna get me on one. I got got one more. Oh, what was the sound made? What was the sound? That Erica Badu made when she fell down the stairs. Erica Badu, 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 Badu. <laughs> fucking idiot. Not, Erica Badu, Badu, Badu. You must Badu, be Badu, Googling Badu, Badu. this shit, man. <laughs> All right, y'all, man. Woo. Good Google. That was fucking. Let me fucking sweating. All right, man. As always, man, I'm going to say it again. Share, subscribe, like, comment, please, tell please, everybody, please, man. Please. We fucking with y'all, man. The comments was popping tonight, man. The lives was popping. We're gonna keep doing it. Yes, we got a special guest coming next week, so we will not be live. Stand by for the standby. Captain yes, out. Sir.